The Bitcoin halving event is right around the corner, estimated to happen on April 21st, 2024. And historically, prior halvings have coincided pretty closely with when Bitcoin kicks off on another bull run. And this expectation of Bitcoin's price increase after a halving is perhaps one of the main reasons why the halving event gets so much attention. With another halving fast approaching, what can we expect in terms of Bitcoin's price movement? Okay, let's first have a quick refresher on the importance of the Bitcoin halving. If you don't know what a Bitcoin halving is, we suggest you to pause this video, watch our quick explainer on it before continuing. But simply explained, every four years or so, the Bitcoin rewards that miners receive for maintaining and securing the blockchain is slashed by half. Hence the name. The halving is important because it brings forth the reduction in fresh Bitcoin supply. This has a major impact on miners as their Bitcoin revenue gets literally cut in half. Barring the event that electricity costs drop to zero, this means that the price of Bitcoin has to be high enough to continue supporting profitable mining forcing miners to evaluate the viability of their operations. Now, while prior halvings have coincided with the beginnings of bull runs, it's of course important to acknowledge that the halving simply results in less Bitcoin being issued and does not directly cause Bitcoin to increase in price. For that to happen, demand for the asset has to stay the same or increase. Now, while no one knows what's going to happen after the 2024 halving, there may be some clues that we can look for from the previous Bitcoin halving events. So far, there have been three Bitcoin halvings, which at a glance have all coincided with a rally in price. Besides that, each market cycle had found its bottom around 11 to 15 months before each halving and a cycle top around one to two years after the halving. Now let's take a closer look at how Bitcoin's price performed around the first halving, which occurred on November 28th, 2012. We'll first start by looking at how Bitcoin performed 365 days before the halving and the subsequent rally to its cycle high after the halving. 365 days before the halving, Bitcoin's price was at 2.54, pretty much the bottom of the 2011 downtrend. As the halving approached, Bitcoin's price recovered and re reached a peak of $15 on 17th of August 2012, putting in a 506% gain from a year pre-halving. This is immediately followed by a swift and dramatic 50% correction before price consolidated into the halving event. A month after the halving, Bitcoin embarked on a rally lasting about 365 days, topping out at $1,242 on November 29th, 2013, marking a whopping 10,058% gain since the halving event. It's worth pointing out that Bitcoin had also experienced a painful 81% dump in the better earlier half of this post-halving rally, and spent most of the time afterwards consolidating before the final run-up to the 2013 cycle top. Are you launching the next cutting-edge crypto project and in need of crypto market data? Look no further. CoinGecko API is the world's most reliable, accurate, and comprehensive cryptocurrency data API for traders and developers. Why build price feeds from scratch when you can access crypto, NFT, and on-chain DEX data directly from from CoinGecko API. Get real-time crypto market data such as price, trading volume, market capitalization, metadata, on-chain liquidity data, and more from 70 plus endpoints. With just a few API calls, help your end users discover the market momentum quickly and easily. CoinGecko API is used and trusted by thousands of industry leaders and projects, including MetaMask, Etherscan, Chainlink, and more. Get 15% off any CoinGecko API plan today. Apply code CoinGeckoTV at checkout to get 15% off your first month or year. 
Let's take a look at the second halving, which occurred on July 9th, 2016. 365 days pre-halving, Bitcoin's price sat at $269, followed by a crash on August 18th, 2015, where the price of Bitcoin fell by 37% in just one day, marking the bottom of the 2014 to 2015 bear market. Its price then recovered and rallied before reaching a local top on November 4th, 2015, which was followed by a 40% correction over the next two weeks. After that, Bitcoin consolidated for more than six months before rallying again as the halving drew near, forming its 2016 yearly high at $790 before experiencing a near 30% correction. This marked a 193% increase from a year before the halving. Shortly after the halving, Bitcoin further corrected by another 31% over the next month before rallying for a year and a half. Eventually, Bitcoin put in a cycle top of $19,804 on December 17th, 2017, a 2,869% increase 526 days after the halving, though not without numerous 30% plus corrections along the way. Okay, on to the third halving, which took place on May 11th, 2020. A year before the halving, Bitcoin's price was at $7,215 while rallying from the bear market low since December 2018. In June 2019, Bitcoin made its pre-halving year high rather early at $13,871, which is a 115% gain from a year pre-halving at $7,215. This is then followed by a downtrend that lasted into 2020. The year 2020 started with a relief rally, but as COVID developed into a crisis across the globe, Bitcoin fell by 62% about three months before the halving. After that, Bitcoin had mostly recovered from the COVID black swan event by the time the halving took place. Post-halving, Bitcoin had mostly moved sideways before rallying in the later half of 2020. Like the last halving, the rally had numerous corrections, though less steep, with most corrections wiping out no more than 30% of gains. There is, however, one notable correction that is perhaps memorable to some of you where Bitcoin tumbled 50% in May 2021. After Bitcoin recovered, it rallied again in the later half of 2021, eventually putting in its cycle top and all-time high of around $69,000 in November 2021, a 687% gain for a rally that lasted 548 days post having looking at the previous halvings it seems like bitcoin puts in a cycle bottom more or less in the pre having year and subsequently rallies within the year after the having however correlation does not imply causation. It would be wise to remember that demand is key for Bitcoin to rally after the reduction of Bitcoin supply as a result of the halving event. Besides, zooming out, we can also observe that Bitcoin's historic performance is also correlated with other risk on assets. When comparing Bitcoin's performance with the S&P 500 index, the two can be seen rallying in tandem with one another. In fact, the last three Bitcoin halvings have coincided with the S&P 500 rallying, which makes sense as both asset classes benefit from capital inflows when investors favor riskier assets. So what can we expect from the 2024 Bitcoin halving? The increased scarcity of Bitcoin as block rewards get cut in half is a crucial factor setting the stage for a potential rally. This scarcity combined with the approval of numerous US spot Bitcoin ETFs has the potential to elevate demand and interest in Bitcoin as a credible investment. However, we should keep in mind that the Fed's decision on interest rates in the near future will be pivotal to Bitcoin and other risk assets performance as it impacts how risk on or off investors are inclined to be. So far, the Fed has yet to announce a rate cut after pausing its rate hikes in June last year, though the Fed expects at least three rate cuts to start sometime in 2024. And even so, 
It's worth noting that rate cuts don't immediately indicate that a bullish rally is to immediately arrive, as rate cuts have historically coincided with short to medium term downtrends as it signals a weaker economy and the effect on markets typically lag behind changes in monetary policy. And remember, don't bet the farm on Bitcoin just because of the halving as Past performance is not indicative of future performance. If you found this video to be helpful, subscribe for more and hit the like button. And I hope to see you in the next video and stay safe in the markets. Bye.